My name is Sarah and my Darren is a senior lance corporal in the British Army and he is a very important man. I don't know about you, but like a lot of other soldiers, my Darren has got one of those annoying smartwatches that measures all of his activity like swimming, running, walking, sleeping, wanking, probably. He most recently came home and announced he was king of the mountain, whatever the fuck that means. The other day, I asked him to go upstairs and get me the laundry basket and bring it down. And he thanked me for it because he got an extra floor in. I thought he was bringing me coffee in bed on the morning because he loved me. But it turns out he was just getting extra floors and steps in. What if he got the lift at the shard and went the full 73 floors up? Would his watch know he hadn't taken the stairs if he marked time in the lift? What if you attach the watch to a dog or a racing pigeon or left it on a bus? Does it know? Or are all your Strava mates thinking, shit the bed, fat Dave the recce wreck has done 906 miles today but registered zero heartbeat. The man's a machine. Darren got kudos yesterday just for his half mile walk to the chippy and broke the 100 metre sprint record chasing the ice cream van in his slippers. I just really fancied a 99 with monkey's blood on it. You do have to be careful in dodgy areas with security issues though because others can see where you are. Sometimes drive into a specific segment in an area so you can smash some other person's record isn't worth the thumbs up from your Strava buddies. Maybe you should get danger points like in places such as Middlesbrough or Newcastle. Yeah, I smashed the one in four gradient and managed to leave with me trainers and bike wheels intact. Anyway, apparently my Darren's body battery is low so I'm going to go make him some lunch while he has his third nap of the day.